I'm here with Elsa, my Belgian Malinois, and uh, we're going to do a little session on a touch command before we go out and start playing. Elsa is a reactive dog, and that's okay, um, because we're working on it. She's reactive generally to people that she doesn't know, she rather than dogs. Um, she's a lamb with the... Uh, nuclear family, so with me, with kids, um, with people that she knows, she's um, fine, okay? Um, but new people she's not great with. As you can see, she's really gentle with me. There are times that she can get over aroused, and I have to really monitor that with her. She's far more work than any of my other dogs, and partly that's her breed, and partly that's her temperament. To help Elsa, with part of her reactivity we're doing several things but one of the things that I've been doing with her um, is a hand touch command that I'm starting to try and enforce more so that at times where she is feeling concerned by a stimulus I can ask her to focus on something by asking her to touch my hand and to remain there so I need duration of that and this is something that I um, sit And this is something that I've seen done by really awesome trainer Nando Brown. But I just wanted to kind of document me doing it with Elsa and then show it later on in context um, how it's been so useful to us. So thanks so much for um, putting that idea out there because it's really helped me and Elsa. So the first thing you want to start doing is you can rub some of the... No. You can rub some of the scent of the treat on your hand, okay, just to get them interested initially. You know. And then you can, yes, mark an award the moment that she touches your hand. Yes. Remember that you, um, you get what you reward. So if I were to reinforce consistently when she were licking my hand, then that's the behavior that she would be perceiving as the behavior that I want her to perform again. So I want to be sure that once she has grasped the concept of, <laughs> um, once she has grasped the, no, no, once she has grasped the concept, yeah, that's what we were doing yesterday, huh? So cute. Once she's grasped that concept of targeting my hand, no, then I want to be able to start neatening up that behavior and only rewarding the repetitions where she is making contact with her nose rather than licking. Okay. And I can do that by not initially putting scent on my hand, or I can do it by, she's trying loads of different behaviors now to see what gets her the reinforcement. So we're at the stage now where I've actually put it onto a verbal cue where I can present my hand, say touch and she will touch, touch. So once the dog is reliably doing this with some pressure, touch, no, touch, touch, yes, touch, touch, yes, that one was better, did you see? So then I want to start adding more duration to it, touch, yes, good girl, touch, yes. Okay. And this is really useful for touch. Yes. For times when we're out in the environment, she sees something that she's concerned by, um, and I need her to feel safe, because it's really important for our reactive dogs to feel safe. Because that's part of the reason that they're reacting. Okay. Um, Yes. Okay. So I can ask for this when she sees a stimulus that she's concerned by. I can ask her touch. Good. No. Touch. No. Touch. Touch. Good. Yes. As the stimulus passes us. Good girl. And then we can get on with playing and doing what we're doing. And that's just one of the things that we're doing to really help Elsa with her 
That is what we were doing the other day. Oh, let's see if we can do it. Pause on. On. On here. Good. And just by doing loads of tricks with Elsa as well. On. Ah, gently. Off. No. Pause on. Good. Good. Yes. <laughs> So we're starting to do like a little say your prayers command where she puts her paws up on my shoulder. Gently. We need to cut your nails today, huh? That hurt. Gently. Paws on gently. Good. Say your prayers. Yes. Oh. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Okay, so we'll work on that a bit more later. Chill out. And that is one of Alsa's other issues, is that she becomes aroused like this. Okay, sit. Good. No. So I don't want her. No. I don't want her pushing me um, to reward behaviours. Good girl. No, I only want the dog to perform behaviours uh, when I ask for them. Be mindful of that in training, that when you teach your dog something, that they only do it when you give them the cue, rather than when they're attempting to gain reinforcement by trying. No. Good. Pause on. Yes, good job. Good girl. Down. Down. Wait. Okay, so hand touch is a really good thing that you can um, use to help your reactive dogs. Um, and trick training is a really good way of focusing a reactive dog, building a better connection with that reactive dog. Um, and being able to engage them in different ways. Down. Down. Being able to engage them in way better ways when you're out in the environment and they're distracted. Um, no, you really want those treats, huh? Should we go out for a walk? Wanting? No. Is it pretty? Oh, so cute. Is it pretty? Good. Yes. Okay. So yeah, hand touch. Um, a trick training is the way forward, huh? Okay. <laughs>